Disclaimer, this content is for educational awareness only, not a promotion. Hello everyone and welcome to D-Reviews. Today we're talking about a major internet disruption. Cloudflare's network suffered a wide-reaching outage that impacted many well-known web services. We'll explain what happened, which services were hit, why it matters, and what you as a user should know. On Tuesday, November 18th, 2025, Cloudflare announced that it was experiencing a serious issue that impacted multiple customers. This caused widespread 500 errors, meaning many websites couldn't load or were returning server error messages. Their dashboard and API were also failing. The outage began around early morning, Eastern Time, and coincided with degraded performance or outright failure of Cloudflare's own status page and dashboard. Affected services included social media sites like X, AI platforms such as OpenAI, multiple multiplayer games that depend on Cloudflare's infrastructure, and also other multiple websites using Cloudflare service. Why is this significant? Because Cloudflare acts as a critical layer for many websites, handling things such as encryption, traffic routing, and caching. When that layer fails, websites may load slowly or not at all, or show error messages, even though they might still be operating behind the scenes. In this instance, the error code 500 appeared broadly, meaning servers handled by Cloudflare could not process requests properly. Even Cloudflare's own status page and dashboard had issues, which shows how widespread the fault was. Services that rely on Cloudflare for protection and distribution were impacted. Not just small websites, but major platforms and games. If you experienced issues today, perhaps a site didn't load, or you couldn't access a game or app, here's what you can keep in mind. It's likely not your device or internet connection, but rather the service's infrastructure. Refreshing after a short wait often solves the problem once the provider restores operations. If you run a website or app yourself, consider how much you depend on a single infrastructure provider and whether you need fallback arrangements. For your personal use, be aware this kind of disruption can happen even on stable, large-scale services. It's a reminder to save important work locally when possible. In summary, Cloudflare's outage shows how interconnected and interdependent our web services are. A problem in one major infrastructure provider can ripple across many platforms you use daily. For someone like us, it underlines the importance of understanding how the tools we rely on are built and what happens when they stumble. Thank you for watching today's breakdown on the Cloudflare outage. We will update you in the comment section once this issue will be shorted out. If you found this useful, please like the video, subscribe to D Reviews, and hit the bell so you don't miss future episodes. Until next time, stay curious and stay prepared.